Oh yeah, we're back and we've got an email. I'm playing this game at the pace of the snail. Not bad, I'd give that a 6 out of 10 rhyme. Uh, anyway, let's check out this damn email. Also, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum, by the way. Uh, so, last time... Ooh. Ooh, got enough emails that we can side-scroll, hell yeah. Trouble in under? So yeah, it took me a while of walking around to actually get this email. Ha, big guy. We've been hearing about Shadow Pokemon from people visiting the Under from Pyrite. A lot of the visitors have seen the Shadow Pokemon. Net in the Under should have more information for you. Well, I guess that is exactly where we're going. Back to see those darn kids. Those lovable kids. So, last time, we were in the Snagum Hideout and we got ourselves a Croconaw. Which means we only have six Shadow Pokemon left to get, and hopefully this leads us to the trail of the very next one. And maybe another, and then another after that. Either way, we're getting close to the end now. The end is in sight. Um, suspecting within the next episode of three, we can get at least one more Shadow Pokemon. But we'll see. We always seem to end up back in this hell hole -ish place. And I need to remember how to get to this kid's hideout. Here we go. What's up, guy? Still maintaining your satellite, huh? It's not suspicious at all. Yes, yes, yes. Real game tower. Yes, you're way late on the news, guy. I did that, like, weeks ago. Alright, so he was right down here. Believe it was one of these fellas. Was it this fellow? Or am I going the complete wrong way? No, it's this guy. Oh, hi, Nefashian. I think there's been a sneaky train on the under lately. There's a guy in front of a junk shop named Gurks. What a name. He apparently saw this shadow Pokemon in the battle. The quickest way to find out is to ask Gurx himself. Nefesh, can you check it out? Sure, because you kids are useless and do nothing. Can you guys... You guys... like? You seem too young to even own Pokemon. And yet, there's a Shroomish. Booty! That is not your name. Get it right, Shroomish. Anyway, let's go find this Gurx character. He seems very shifty. So let's go and see him. The junk shop, I believe, is down south. I think I'm going on healing items. This is usually where I come. This lemonade machine up here is usually where I go and get my lemonades, go figure. It's usually where I restock on healing items. Uh, but I think I'm okay on healing items. Now, I think the only way to get up to that particular area is to go up these stairs right here. Oh, there's even a PC here. How convenient. I believe I've faced this guy already, but I assume you just rechallenge it. Is it this guy? Oh, good guess. Huh? What's that? You want to know about a shadow Pokemon I know battled? How about we battle first? Yes, I suppose that's the norm around these old parts of the under. Chaser Gurks. And you know, we'd save so much time though if you just, you know, told me. I'd even pay you. I've got enough money now. Just give me the information. Also, you have two gigantic whales on land. What is wrong with you? Uh, I have a fire type out as well, that's no good. Uh, but however, we're gonna use Sunny Day and Solar Beam. Actually, no. Now, we'll start off by putting one of these things to sleep, I reckon. Assuming you land here, and you do. Good start, Blueberry. Stars we mean to go on, as they say. And Pokemon are so easily, like, <laughs> afflicted with sleep. They must be so tired all the time. Pokemon trainers are horrible people, really. Alright, now he can fire off solar beams like it ain't no thing. And he's trying to Hydro Pump, and he missed. Uh, so, in the event of that, we should probably not be above ground. <laughs> that would be useful. And we will solar beam this Waylord. Now, I wonder if I actually survived this. It perhaps might. The answer is no. No, it did not survive, though. I can't believe I was hesitant on teaching its sunny day in solar beam. What the hell's wrong with me? It's awesome. I do not regret it for one second. Especially when you come up against two whales underground. A sight I thought I'd never see. Look at how big that is. That's what she said. Anyway, <laughs> another solar beam will do just for ticket. And then maybe you'll tell me this darn information guy. You probably also crushed many of the surrounding shops. 
There, easy come, easy go. Don't need this place anyway. It's garbage. Roar! Nothing worked at all. If your strategy of crushing me with whales, it could have rolled over and you would have won. Alright. I promise I'll tell you about that shadow Pokemon. Train with this guy named Verde. Ooh, how very exotic. In a flashy green outfit. He had a shadow bay leaf with him. Okay. Where pray tell is this shadow bay leaf? I don't suppose you're going to tell me, are you? But I'll give it a go anyway. <laughs> and because I'm an NPC, I'll just repeat exactly the same thing. I want to see that happen. I want a world full of shop like clerks that just repeat the same line of dialogue whenever you talk to them. I tell you, it'd make job so much easier to just repeat the same line again and again and again. But it would also mean that as a customer, you would not <laughs> have many, many options of questions to ask. Maybe occasionally a yes, no. Right, so what I'm assuming is that I'll get an email at some point soon. And I do actually know where this Shadow Pokemon should be already, but I don't know whether you get an email about that, or whether I should have gone back to Net in the Under. But I believe we have to go to the Shadow Pokemon Lab. And I think that might also be where you get the Stantler. Either way, I want this damn Stantler. I don't even remember fainting it, it was so long ago. But I must have messed something up there. But it's the last Shadow Pokemon that I failed to get. Right. So I know that it happens to be here, but I don't know whether or not I should get an email first. Well, here we go. I can do both things at the same time, because I'm awesome like that. Yes, yes, Shadow Pokemon Lab. It's as if I knew that already. It appears as if criminals are gathering at the Shadow Pokemon Lab again. Wait, who's Marcia? I don't even care. There's more. People have seen a safe appear on a goldy green outfit with a shadow bay leaf. I wonder what's up. Well, you know, it'd have been nice if you told me that before I had to face that damn guy. Right, I forget now. What entrance sh do you reckon it should be? <laughs> I'll ask as if you guys are going to answer. See, I've always wanted to do live streaming, but I wouldn't pull enough of an audience to make it worthwhile, I've assumed. But I don't know. You get some people that do it. I suppose it's the same as making videos that don't get that many views. It'd be something if I had, if I ever get unemployed for some reason, or I'm in some sort of, I don't know, I get a lot of holiday for no reason, then I might as well give it a go. Hello. Uh-oh. Intruder alert. Okay, these guys are refacing us. Or maybe I just missed this guy. Who knows? You know, if you had a Stantler, which I could catch, that'd be amazing. Okay. It's definitely a rematch. So I might have to run around the floor just battling all these guys. One of them I would assume has the Shadow Pokemon. It'd be nice. But on these guys, we could just Sunny Day. No, not you. You, Flamethrower. Well, that cast form's gonna try something. So we should probably take it out. Anyway, this song never gets old. This soundtrack, man. I'm gonna miss it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that whole thing. <laughs> well, I completely messed that up. I was trying to defeat it before it changed to rain or something. Uh, forgetting that I would change it to fire. My bad. Yeah, I knew you'd do that. It seemed to do a lot of damage regardless for a resistant attack. But then again, it is a cast form. So I'm guessing because he has rain dance, that Wigglytuff has thunder or something. No, he has... What? Okay. Logic? You don't appear to have any of that. Uh, but if he has Fire Blast, you might actually want to keep this rain up stupidly. Um, or we could just go straight for the Weekly Tough. Or, how about this? That's not going to work, is it? We'll still kill it. And then how about... No, will it kill it? Will it kill it? No, I don't think it will. Um, so I'm just going to dig cast form and put Wigglytuff to sleep. Yeah, that'll do. It seems like I took about a minute deciding that. What's wrong with me, man? Once again, I've just got up. 
It's any kind of time I have to record videos. That really tough is sleep dancing. Tapper, tapper, tapper. Oh, that's no good. Or at least it would be if I didn't use dig. Ah. Right, so now we can get a sunny day off. I don't know how wise this is if that thing has weather ball. I'm gonna risk it. Cause I'm baller. I seem to remember there being a PC upstairs that I used very frequently anyway, so we're okay. Oh, and this makes dig super effective. Yeah, I meant that. I totally meant that. Nice job, guys. Synergy. Love that. Then that cast form in its sunny, like, form, it looks like it's just suffocating inside, like, some sort of helium red balloon. I cannot be good for it. Ooh, and a ferret. Right, so if that Weenie Tower has Fire Blast, I should probably just take it out immediately. So, all attacks on Wigglytuff. So the beam me. Flamethrower probably was enough to defeat it. But you know, I like to be sure. It has a very agile asleep Pokemon. Bam! Alright. The fire blasting threat is out the way. Hopefully this ferret has nothing nasty. Also, hopefully this guy is the Stantler guy. No, he has an artillery. How dare you! It's got nothing on my artillery. What this ferret is flamethrower? Get that out of here. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Hold on. Hold on. Why do ferrets breathe fire? I don't remember this. <laughs> that doesn't happen. Come on now. Alright, we'll just solar beam flamethrower alternately. It should KO them both. It should definitely KO the artillery, especially with the critical hit. Like I said, ain't got nothing on my artillery. Good job, guys. I wonder if we can just inch flow rider to that level. It's so close. Come on, man. Yeah. Mm -mm, roast ferret. Lovely. Ah, oh, man. So close. At least Blueberry leveled up, I suppose. Hooray! I got knocked out again. I don't remember you, man. You're also generic. You need to identify yourself from everyone else. Wear something different for a change. Alright, so if these guys are going to jump down at me at every opportunity, I should probably make a thorough check of all the floors here and every elevator. I don't know why I call them elevators. They're called lifts here in the UK. I keep, like, Americanizing my dialogue because I watch a lot of American YouTube personalities, as it were. Okay, we can't get in through there. Now, I wonder if that was always the case, because I don't remember. No, apparently... Apparently it was always the case. But I was just wondering if they blocked off my route on this particular turn. Hello! You again! You're not getting off scot-free this time. Where did that expression come from? Scot-free. Oh, her hair seems to have a life of its own. Okay. Look at that crazy thing. It's flicking itself upwards. I'd love to have that sort of sense about my hair. If I had hair. Alright. Here comes Flo Rider and Dunny Boy. And I guess flame throwing Ooh, any of these actually would make kinda sense. Uh, and then I guess we'll return Sneasel, which I think is less defense than Nuzleaf. Let's see if I've got that accurately. Uh, down goes Nuzleaf. Not that it really matters. Cause I know Dunny Boy's love for me will pays off in massive damage. So I'm suspecting you just have all dark types. Therefore, you probably won't have the Stantler. Taunt. It's a good thing that I was just going to completely trash you in the face anyway. Like a so. Oh, oh come on. Alright, never mind that. Oh. Uh, Flamethrower. And then return Sharpedo. Completely unnecessarily overpowered. You could have just like spat a very small like cinder at that Sneasel and it would have fainted. That's how weak it was. Okay, and Hound Dower? You need to work on evolving your Pokemon, lady. Oh no, it's making scary faces at me. I'll just reply by trashing it. 
Yeah, okay. Now we know Sharpedo has less defense than the Sneasel. I was not aware of this. I thought Sneasels were frail as anything. They probably still are. Um, okay, oh, okay. Uh, ooh, dig? Return. Why are you doing attacking first, Dunny Boy? Oh, scary face. Ah, I deduced that one. Alright, Dunny Boy's cleaning up, man. And Flow Rider, you leveled, so we're gonna switch you out. As is my policy. I'm an equal opportunities kind of guy. You know, you really are strong. Yeah, how would you think I've got this far in the game? I'll tell you, it wasn't always like this, man. <laughs> in the long, long ago, I was not great at this. It's only in the last half of this playthrough where I've really sort of sh shone. My team's been great and I've really enjoyed it. Up till then, I struggled a bit. You could just, if you haven't seen it, you could just omit the first half. <laughs> it could have been better. Okay. I don't, I think you get into that from below, I'm guessing. This place is massive. Stop right there. Every single time I have to sing that. God. Varna, it's all your fault. Marwell and Pupita. Oh, yeah. And this is where... We did send out Bruce Chan, yeah? Yeah, Bruce Chan's out. This is where Bruce Chan comes to useful. With some brick-breaking skills. Aw, oh, yeah. Doesn't that mole also have Intimidate, though? Yeah, I knew it. Touché, Marwell. Touché. Okay, you brick-break that Marwell. And this is why we have Shadow Ball, eh? Bam, probably won't KO it. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe if I say that every time, it will KO it. That'd be amazing. Right, so that man, well, is down. Probably level up Donny Boy from this. Oh, hello. Gold bat. A well placed ball of the finest shadow right in your fat face. That really didn't do that much damage. It's okay. Got Bruce Shan to do it next time. Crunch. Should do very little. I've never seen a pubertar open its mouth. Um, oh, how dare you! For that, you'll get a brick break to the face. And return on Golbat. In lieu of other options. Oh yeah. Does it even have a mouth? I can't see a mouth on it. And a Swablu? Guys, I've over your Pokemon, man. So I can get more XP, for one thing. Uh, this is not good. Okay, we did okay. We did okay. Probably, no, I didn't care, as expected. Uh, okay, what do we do here? We have to... We've got to go for that gold there, man. It's got to go. That thing's got to get out of here. Oh, we might not even KO it this turn. Ah, hold on, Bruce Chan. Is that Swablu's going to attack you as well? We need to heal you, buddy. Okay, Golbat is at least down for the count. That was our primary objective. Now, this Swablu's going to KO me now and make me feel like a real ass. No, never mind, it's safeguarded. Alright, your loss is our gain. Keep on breaking those bricks, Bruce Chan. Blow! Gotta use different exclamations for every hit. Wham! Oh yeah, comic book styly. Alright, get that Swablu out here. Get that puffball. Get it going. Good job, guys. It's my favourite duo out again. Not that I have favourites or anything, but I just like these two Pokemon together for no reason. They have problems of ghost types, though. But that's why I have Shadow Ball, eh? Okay, we might want to heal Bruce Chan. I'm sure we have plenty of items for such a thing. We're not in any real need of them. I barely use them these days. Okay, we have a Solitary Lemonade. Actually, we obviously don't have as many healing items as I thought we did. We have 10 Hyper Potions. That'd be enough to get us by. But maybe we want more Lemonades. Refreshing Lemonades. I always seem to use them in every Pokemon game. They're such good items. Underrated items. Or are they underrated? I think everyone knows about how good lemonades are. Speaking of which, I could do some right now. Or, you know, spring water, that works too. 
Uh, now, I forget which was the actual way down. So we're just going to start with the first one we found. So there's two ways down. Okay, here seems like it's in some sort of lab. Ooh. Um, was this the way forward? I honestly don't recall <laughs> the exact way. Okay, here goes absolutely nowhere. Uh, but at least we can confirm there's no damn peons here. Damn peons. Up we go, so that narrows it down to just that one way down. I love this music as well. And what is that instrument supposed to be? It's like some sort of weird harmonica-ish thing? I don't know, but I like it and I want one, whatever it is. I'm a collector of odd instruments. I haven't played my accordion in so long. I've got an accordion around. I've got a melodica around. I've got a djembe around. I collect really obscure instruments and yet don't have many regular instruments. Guitar is something I have not vested any time into. Hello. Back again. Guess who's back. No welcome for you this time. Well, didn't you just welcome me? Laser. Blazer. Where is the Stantler guy? Maybe I should look up in the menu. Well, it won't matter really. No, you know what? I'd rather it be a surprise. Right. That masquerade has intimidate as well, doesn't it? There's two battles in a row where we've traded Intimidates. Unless that Mash Green doesn't have Intimidate. Uh, but it does have Intimidate. Yeah, right, Bug Eye would be intimidated by anything. Come on. Unless his eyes are so buggy that it makes him see these Pokemon as different Pokemon. Poor Bug Eye. Right. And not only does he have visual impairment, he has very bad breath. But in this instance, it's very useful. And somehow paralyze the opponents. I said paralyze the opponents. You're supposed to paralyze them. Yeah, I thought we might survive. Uh oh. That's not what anyone wants to see. You might be able to take a hit. Whoa, yeah, just about. Whew! That masquerade, man. Earthquake. Okay, the only thing you're hearing is Bruce Chan. So we are okay there. Uh, that masquerade needs to go. Because otherwise, Bug Eye is doomed. But what can we do? What would you do? Uh, we should probably switch you out. I'd rather you live, to be honest. Uh, we can use Flow Rider. Uh, let's adopt some actual strategy rather than just trying to level up the lowest levels. Yeah, Flow Rider. You'll soon be joined with all your Johto starter buddies. We've already got Croconore. We're soon to get Bayleaf. You know, I've been debating. I did kind of want to purify everything, but definitely not immediately. It'll be something I will probably do in my spare time, to be honest, and then show you guys the end result like several months down the line, I think. That's how that's going to go, if I decide to do it. Either way. Okay, so Brick Brick Rover, Flame for a Masquerade. Yes, indeedy. Blah, Flow Rider, your breath ain't so great either. But at least that's intentional. Get out of here, you small bug. Right, and as long as Bug Eye's getting SP, everything's hunky dory. Uh, oh, yeah, nice one. O H K O. Ocho. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know why I turned Squash there. I don't know why I do a lot of things. Even tougher than before. Yes, indeedy. 